Okay, so this video is basically about people judging other people because the, the basic of people judging other people because what, what their appearance is. Sorry if that's stuck with them, but I can't say anything else about that. And I'm playing a music video. Come on. Fuck those. Um, what basic thing is, you, you shouldn't judge someone by their appearance because they might be going under a hell of a lot of the things that you know about. They might be going under anxiety, depression, suicide, bulimia, anxiety. Did I say that? Bipolar, any other mental disorder, you do not know what the fuck is going on about. You should, might, you might think it's weird, you might think it's strange, you might have spots, you might have weird hair, like I think my hair is fucking strange. Like, I cut it off and just think I look like a fucking man. And people just think that, oh, she's doing this, it's weird, oh, she's got clothes that are not from the best shop, she's got, I don't know, a bag that's not from... Bloody Pavine Westwood, or it's not from New Look, or it's not from Peacock, because I got one of mine from the Aztec, so it was fucking five pound when I was on the list, and just thought, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna get this. And my friend gets bullied for all these sorts of things, because her hair is not perfect all of the time, she doesn't give a fuck, she wears glasses. I think she's pretty because she is who she is, and she doesn't give a fuck what anyone else thinks. She wears supermarket brands, she wears Converse that I, that I got her for, that my mum gave her for her birthday or whatever she came on does because we thought we felt bad for her because she had shoes that had holes and so basically it's, it's really a nice gesture and um, people have the guts to go over it and just say oh you're ugly oh your family can't afford anything well you know what fuck you she might be she right i know more i know her at the back of my hand like i could just say embarrassing autobiography by, by lois cody that would be basically i could write her life in a story and she's one of the nicest people ever and I've, I see people like going, making stars saying, oh, this scruffy person, or this ugly person through, walking through the shopping city. Well, who gives a fuck what they look like? Have you, have you, yes, Buster. Who gives a, have you had a conversation with that person? No. Have you spoke to that person? No. Do you even know their name? Probably not. And you're, and you're judging them because of the way they look. Maybe they were in a rush today. Maybe, I don't know. They might have kids, they might not have the time to go any the more, they're more, they're more worried about the people that they're bringing up than what their appearance is. Personally, I spend about 20 minutes from the shower, and now I can't be asked wearing makeup, and it's, and it's a bit hypocritical because I've, I've got a black and white filter, and you probably can't understand me because I talk too fast. But yeah, fuck life, and basically, I lost my train of thought. And they just think, what the fuck are they doing with their lives? They've got the hair, to, people judge people with the hair tied back, it's quite greasy, they look like they haven't had a shower. Well, so fucking what? They have, not everyone looks like they came out of a fucking magazine, let me tell you that. Right, these magazines over there, they're all like bullshit. No, right. Imagine going into magazine where magazine factory or whatever, or the big, the big buildings, and you see someone getting the photo taken, and, and ninety nine point nine percent of the time, that photo that's been taken, it's nothing like what gets put in the magazine because the magazine is all, is all airbrushed, the skin's been perfect, the hair's perfect. They've got a tiny little waist that is, is really not ideal, and it's not what people think is like. It's not, I'm fucking stuttering here, it's not ideal, it's not realistic, and people think, oh, I want to look like her, you can't fucking be like that, it's airbrushed, someone's going to look and puke, spend about five or ten minutes going, you think, with their fucking waist, it's not going to work, and people are never going to have, feel great about themselves because of these fucking magazines, and they all think that because they have, they have power, it's society or whatever, no, it's not, it's some bastard in their fucking office, they, telling people what, what, they should, what they should already know. And they'll say, oh, be yourself, but you can't fucking be yourself. There's about ten magazines, there's one thing going. Oh, you should do this. Oh, you shouldn't be like this. Oh, you should lose weight. Oh, you gain six pounds or something, or lose six pounds in a week. There's people, things like Weight Watchers, there's Slim, Slimming World, there's fucking... There's spot treatments. People don't. People are never going to be happy with their own face, or... Fucking hell, it's wind. Never going to be happy with their own face, with their own in their own skin. And I'm person. I've only just become comfortable with my own body. I've suffered, suffered with eating disorder, with an eating disorder. I've had depression. I think I've kind of got anxiety. I've had paranoia, and it's just, it's just not nice. And I bought right. This is from fucking Tesco. These are from Primark. My socks are from George. I do not go to fucking New Look. I do not go to River Island. I do not go to fucking. Whatever bastard shop, it's about ten pound for this. When there's a two pound in fucking Tesco in the clearance sale, do you really think I give a shit about how, how I look? Sometimes I do not give an absolute damn what people think about me anymore. You know, what? I thought fuck it, cut my hair off, bleach it, lost a bit of weight because I became a vegetarian. So, so you know, I've kind of become comfortable in my own skin. No, I wouldn't 
cut, cut my shirt in half and wear it as a crop top and wouldn't go out in shorts. But I have a bit more respect for myself than what I did, which I'm pretty proud of. And I have my own style. I think I'm not going to put a label on it, but I'm not one of those girls that kick themselves on makeup, they spray themselves on fake tan. But if they do that, then it's fine. Then it's their choice. I'm not judging them, but that's what, they to, that's what they want to do. It's fine, but that's what I'm not going to do because I believe that's not me. That that's not what I was... That that's what I, what I should look like. I would look really strange if I had a spray tan face, caked in makeup right now. I have no makeup. Hi. And basically, I don't give a shit what people think anymore. If this is probably the most longest video in the world, it's about 55 minutes long. Well, shit, so yeah, I'm dog to sleep behind me that was thinking fucking crazy, talking to a camera. I actually do. But you should never, ever think low of yourself. You should always think, look in the mirror and go, oh, I like the way I look, I like my hair, I like my clothes, I like the way my makeup is, if you wear makeup. I wear, I sometimes do, but most of the time I don't, because I cannot be fucked to, to get out of fucking tube of makeup and put up my hand and do it on my face. Because it is effort, and yes, I did take a breath. Basically, just be who you want to be. If you want to be a fucking monkey riding a unicycle around the fucking River Mersey, then be my guest. If you want to cake yourself on makeup, go to parties, wear skirts sh sh up to here, wear crop tops, and fucking fine. Don't judge people for how they look, because you don't know what the hell goes up here. You don't know what the hell they're thinking, you don't know what the hell they've, they've been through. You don't know what the hell they've been brought up to be. You don't know your, their parents, you don't, you don't know what they're like. You don't think anything other than what you see on, which is how they look. So this is basically my video and saying don't judge people on how they look because you don't know what the fuck they go through. See ya.